Hello, right, let me show you around the old Westmoreland. It's just back from the Menders. Now, sadly, I didn't get, I've seen to have lost the footage from when we took it out of here. Um, it's been off and had a repair done on the roof. So, I'll show you up here. Basically, this back section had a bit of a hole in it. Um, about there-ish. When we'd done a bit of investigation, we realised that some clever person had put a load of foam filler in and blown this whole end out. So, up to that skylight, believe it or not, is brand new. And he's done a very, very good job of this, a friend of mine. Replaced this whole end, refiberglass the whole lot up, and it's had a coat of paint on the roof, a bit dusty, but it's all basically brand new. 23 foot caravan. This is a very, very early Westmoreland Star single axle. And there's a the Westmoreland Star there. Now, why I've bothered with this caravan is because of the interior. Outside, I like this trailer a lot more so than the flashier ones because it's quite plain quite understated just got the single stripe down the side that's in the original paint I've got to do wheel spats so get some wheel spats made for this the gutter trims have got to go back on and then basically once that's done we're good to go but let me show you because the interior of this is very very good let me show you that so she's real clean inside really really nice 1960s styling, mirrored back, cupboards with lights all in at the tops here, mirrors here, that's a double bunk that pull out, the carpet, this nice carpet throughout, burners all nice, even got matching rugs for this one, pretty little dressing table. Anyone who's seen a lot of these are the old Vickers and some of the Westmoreland stars are a lot more decorative than that than this one is inside. Um, I like this because that is just plain. You've got these Westmoreland stars in, just cut in here. So nothing real ridiculously over the top. But nice, nice thing. Another double bunk in that end. Nice old burner in there. These are nice for the L side vents. Pull out. This one's quite unusual because it's got the Jubilee kitchen in it. When you had these trailers made, you um, specified what kitchens you want, and they're quite typical to the to the Jubilee trailers. And it's like a little bow top wagon front that is, um, but that would have been an extra someone would have picked the full mica they wanted and all the bits and pieces they wanted and had it like that it's a dry trailer so no sinks or toilets or anything like that in here um got to get myself a nice cooker so if someone's got a nice 1960s cooker that they think would fit in here that'd be lovely to have that back in beautiful little kitchen area like i say just a nice classy old trailer this I've had them with the mirrored worktops and the really OTT, but this one, a little bit simpler, a little bit plainer, but I think got a bit of quality to it. Got the Westmoreland Star in the backs of the cupboards. Even these little indents here are nice, and they got them around the fireplace as well, little inlays, and where they're. Put them little curves in and this is about as 60s as you can get really but i'd say this is an early 60s i don't know too much about the trailer history wise i've never seen a single axle one um i ain't seen one like this but if anyone's got any information on it by all means give me a shout because i'd like to know more
she looked good in the sun. We'll get this old dust off her. These gutters are nice. The gutter rails come down to here and then just run into them little down pipes. Keep your stuff that's streaking up. That's nice. No crystal cut windows in this, but I kind of like it. I like the fact that it's quite plain. A little bit understated. So not a lot to do, just a couple of little bits and pieces. Get them wheel arches done, or them spats done. Give it a good clean up. Good coat up. I'll be ready to get out. Need a good lorry really. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care, subscribe and all that malarkey and I'll catch you on the next video.